Good afternoon, it's Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the European markets, a midday update for the uh, Tuesday's trading session, the 1st of August 2017. Please be sure to visit TradeSignal, signals and market updates from leading providers at www.tradesignal.com. You can download the app at the Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, in terms of uh, the market stats, we've had a uh, s s pretty impressive rally in the FTSE 100 this morning, uh, hitting a uh, intraday high at 7.435 before it reversed. German DAX higher as well, up to 12,200 before reverse, reversing the French CAC, certainly rallying and returning back to uh, above 5,100. FTSE, MIB, IBEX and Stock 600 all up uh, more or less around 0.5% or higher across the board. And that certainly has been uh, triggered by, uh, number one, stronger Chinese data overnight. Asian markets certainly higher as well, along with the Shanghai and Hang Seng. And you have the uh, US markets continuing to make new highs with the Dow piercing through that 22,000 level. In terms of economic numbers this morning, <clears throat> from Europe, we're looking at uh, uh, PMI data more or less um, coming in line slightly weaker, though, for Germany. Uh, overall, weaker for France and Germany and Spain. <clears throat> UK PMI data, uh, PMI data certainly coming in stronger than expected. Okay, Eurozone GDP numbers coming in more, on, more or less in line. And now we were awaiting the US data <clears throat> coming out very shortly. Personal spending, Red Book, Market, PMI and ISM. So uh, a raft of data coming out from the US and that will dictate the movement in the price of the uh, dollar itself. Okay, so EURUSD certainly holding that one, above that 1.18. So therefore, obviously still exerting a bearish uh, price action on the uh, the actual export side of the equation. All eyes on the S&P 500 in terms of the h &S formation, which I also highlighted yesterday. So let's see how that certainly unfolds. You have the h &S formation also given the uh, political deadlock in, uh, in, in, the, in the US as well, with Scaramucci being fired yesterday as well, that creating political uncertainty with North Korea in the background as well. All of that indicates risk aversion. Okay, so let's look at the actual technical picture now. Let's look at the FTSE 100 first and foremost. The daily chart at the moment, you have the uh, bearish candle, a bearish engulfing candle, certainly holding thus far. Again, looking to potentially break out higher here on the back of number one, stronger Chinese data. Obviously, oil price is higher above that $50 uh, zone. You also have stronger Chinese data, stronger UK PMI, so certainly helping along the lines. And also, we had stronger earnings from BP and Rolls Royce this morning as well. 60 minute chart of the FTSE at the moment has a potential for a bull flag, so keep an eye on that. Again, looking to potentially break higher. Okay, in terms of the German DAX itself, uh, it certainly seems to have made a base now. The daily chart certainly has managed to bounce. 60 minute chart, as you can see here, falling, contracting type wedge pattern, looking to potentially break out. And the 10 minute chart certainly looking like it's putting a potential double bottom at 12,100. And as you can see, we've certainly rallied almost 100 pips from the uh, potential pivot low. So keep an eye on that. In terms of resistance, you certainly have resistance at 12,200 on the uh, German DAX, and that certainly will come into play. Let's see how the market responds in terms of U.S. equities, given the US, U.S. data out very shortly. Uh, the French CAC itself bounced off 5,085 pivot low. Okay, certainly finding resistance in this zone here now around the 5,120. Certainly looking to potentially move lower. Okay, so that's basically where we stand in terms of the euro stocks at the moment. Still remains weak, looking like it wants to it wants to uh, move lower. Sixty minute chart. The next potential support is seen around the five four thirty zone. Let's see if we can test that on the back of the euro, obviously being uh, breaking past that one point one eight level. Okay, so I think that's a good summation really for European indices. Please be sure to visit cfds.com for your trading needs, and certainly visit TradeSignal for the latest signals and market updates. Goodbye now.